Well hey there people. Well welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Cooker. Uh, today we're going to do a simple recipe. It's uh, The main thing is the spaghetti squash. And uh, we're going to make a, a spaghetti sauce to go with it. Very simple. Uh, here are my ingredients. Man, I hate this tool. Never use that. I never use it. Anyway, the main thing is the uh, spaghetti squash. And uh, we have our hamburger meat. Got a pound of hamburger meat. I'm going to fry that up. Well, anyway, while that's doing its thing, um, I'm going to get on this. I'm going to be chopping this in half. Uh, chop, 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 chop. Chop chop, squish squish. Anyway, we'll get all that ready. Uh, while I'm doing that, uh, well, you guys might as well check this out. Uh, Shelly and I, we went to another antique store today. It was Sunday, so we're like the antique uh, flea market people. Well, here's some footage from that. And uh, when you come back, I'll have this oh, all chopped uh, up. Sunday. And we're at it again. We found a new antique place. So, uh, yeah, let's go check out the blue jar. What's up with that? Right on. Okay, let's go check this place out. Shelly found her spot. <laughs> oh, look at the deer. Look, oh, look at the deer. Right oh. there. Ooh, ooh. I want the animals. <laughs> there's a fish. Hey, that would be cool if there was a phone booth. Big time. I'm How much? Oh, there's a fish. Cheap. Two forty-five. Two forty-five. Forty-five bucks. Yeah. It's about the going rate. Right? I checked them out on uh, eBay and all that. Oh, I should get that for the Ford. What's that? Old fart? No. <laughs> Here, you should get that one then. <laughs> Copyright music in the background. Don't listen to it. The what? Bears. Are they Blue Mountain? Probably. You don't like bears? Super high tech. Better than my Sony. Well, it looks like the meat's uh, pretty much browned and the way it has to be for now. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this stuff up and uh, we're gonna throw it in there and uh, we'll see, we'll play here and there and uh, we'll see what happens. Kids, remember this always rinse your vegetables. like. You, you don't know where they've been, rinse them. Uh, when, I wanted to share something with you guys and I forgot. Anyway, you know the bottom of the green pepper, like there's these round nubs? Uh, the ones with four, they're females. Uh, the ones with five are males. Uh, the four, the females, are sweeter than the fives, which are males. So I always buy the fours, which are females. <laughs> anyway. That's what you get when you cook with the cooker. Well, anyway, we got the meat, we got the pot. Let's put the meat in the pot. The ultimate cooking tool, cast iron. Look how beautiful that is. Oh yeah. All right, into the pot you go. Scrappy. What's going on, Scrappy Scrap? <laughs> Isn't it too funny? Good girl. 
is a good kitty. And Scrappy Scrap. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. Let me get the JJ. What's happening? JJ. Come here. You're a good boy. Alright, let's get to work. Got the meat. Let's throw this in. Chop up the young end. Mash up some garlic. Wash up those mushrooms and this and that and the other thing. Smoochers. So back to cooking. Um, anyway, I left the uh, green peppers like in big chunks because they will shrivel. Well, I can't stress it enough. Wash your shit like big time. I'm not even kidding. Like, seriously. Well, this is a new one to me. The, at the grocery store, they call this a Texas onion. Like to me, it looks like a Spanish onion. I don't know, Texas onion. What's the difference? I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll chop this up. Okay, now my least favorite part. I know, handling garlic just kills my hands, so I'm gonna have to glove up for this one. I don't really recommend these uh, Poly D disposable poly gloves uh, from the box store. Like, I paid a dollar twenty, I think it was, for I don't know how many is in here. There's a lot in here, but they're like crap. Like, since you put them on your hand, they just break. Anyway, they do the job. I mean, uh, for a buck. For a buck. This is the fourth one I put on and they just keep breaking or whatever. Anyway, they'll still protect my fingers. Anyway, let's uh, mash up this garlic or do shit to this garlic. Well, it seems that we have a special guest. Uh, just getting up from his nap with Ma. Are you taking a little nap, Cash? Eh? Are you napping, buddy? You're still tired? Take both ends off. And you say sorry to the tennis down below. That's a lot of garlic. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole thing in, but I don't want to kill anybody, right? See the gloves? They're awesome. I haven't even started yet, and uh, look at the mess. These gloves are awesome. Like, go get yourself some. Okay, uh, what do I have to do? So, oh, we're gonna put some juice in here and uh, turn some heat onto her. Big spin. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, man? What? He's smelling some foods. He's smelling some foods. Nothing for you. No droppage. Who's a good boy? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we got ourselves some uh, stewed tomatoes and some paste. I'm not sure if I'm going to use both cans of paste because they take... Well, we'll see what happens because one water, one paste. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's uh, get into the stewed tomatoes. Yeah, brand new can opener. I don't even know how it works. How does that work? we do it with one hand? Probably not. No. No. I tried. I was freaking out like for like two seconds. I didn't think it was cutting but like that, that thing cuts nice eh? That cuts really nice. I thought I had a good idea there. I thought it was going to cut a lot smoother than that. Let me work at this for a sec. Anyway, I'm the, uh, the distractor. It doesn't take me much to get distracted. Anyway, we're going to leave this project for another time. I know what I'm going to do next time.
It's not going to be a Molson Canadian can, it's going to be some kind of a, a pop or soda can. You'll see. Anyway. Well, anyway, it, it is 420. Oh yeah, I forgot it was cooking. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of dry shit in there. What do we got in there? I forget. Hamburger meat, uh, onions, green peppers, garlic, and mushrooms. Okay, we need to add some juices to that. So we're going to put these uh, stewed tomatoes in there. So I'm going to throw in a full can of this uh, Kent's uh, tomato paste. If I can get it out, get it out of there. Okay, I'll probably need a, a spoon or some kind of satchel for that. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Alright, with that, with the uh, full can of Kent's, I'm going to add one full can of water. So I ended up uh, using two cans of this Kent's uh, tomato paste. I put uh, four times this amount of water into the sauce. So uh, let's stir that up and turn the heat on. So we're doing good on time. Uh, I got everything all mixed up. Uh, that's going to sit like that for on low heat. Turn it down to three. We'll let that cook overnight. Like that's a whole nap, like five, six, seven hours. I'm just going to throw a lid on it. Well, it's only been a bit. Um, I'm going to stir it, turn it right down to simmer. Give it a good stir. No chance of nothing sticking because it's all wonderful. Look all wonderful. Well, it's the day after. Uh, this has been simmering for five, six hours now, so it's ready. Anyway, the fun part, I'm going to cut this open, or slice it in half. So I did add some uh, some spices to the uh, spaghetti sauce there. Not much, just a sprinkle of this, a sprinkle of that. Not too many of those, uh, maybe five or six. Anyway, uh, let's cut this open. Well, good thing for a good knife, because that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Anyway, uh, now I just got to take the guts out and... Alright, now that we got the guts out, I'm just going to spread some butter in there and that's it. And then we'll throw it in the oven at 420 for probably 45 minutes or so. Well, it's been about 45 minutes. I think we're done. Grinded up some cheese. Yeah, I missed my electric grinder. Shelly, we should get an electric grinder. Cheese grinder. Yeah. I hate this thing, man. Anyway, it did the job, so we're just going to add some cheese to that and let it melt, and it's going to be beautiful. Et voila. Looks pretty good, eh? It smells pretty damn good, I have to say. Okay. Anyway, time to pig out. JJ. 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 <laughs> what were you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, he was. Nana Mascudi, she's a wicked guitarist, this girl. Dr. Hook. <clears throat> I had a whole set of these when I left Sudbury, and I just brought them to the scrapyard. Yeah, well. Oh, a piece of teak, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I don't know what it is, really, but it's a bar, I guess, eh? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. A bookshelf slash put your bottles in there.
There's your doorknobs. Your fancy doorknobs. Yeah, they have some for cupboards too over by the bathroom where you live. No way. We had that as a kid. We grew up with that shit. Oh, you found some more? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had that. My mom had that uh, candy dish. Yeah. That's nice, eh? Just brings back memories. She always put the shitty candies in there, though. Of course she did. Because she didn't want the kids to put their sticky little hands in there. <laughs> The hard, the hard Christmas ones, eh? Remember yeah. Those? Yeah. But look no. at this owl's 24. <laughs> Speaking of radios, what's that? Mm -mm. No, that's a nice stove right there. <laughs> I don't know. Piggy bank. Some old school decals. She's always rushing me. I'm enjoying my section here. Hold on. <laughs> X Lox figs. Oh, your Hot Wheels. My Hot Wheels. Eric's Hot Wheels. Old school Hot Wheels. <laughs> Looks like we might be buying this table and two chairs. We'll have to see. Maybe. It's a nice table and chair set. Really <laughs> nice. It's so it's vintage. super, yeah. yeah. It's mint. Oh, yeah. Look, like there's hardly any scratches or anything on there. Mm hmm. Hmm. There's an old can eh? Oh wait, somebody cut into it. What? I don't get it. That's how you used to have to drink your beer in the old days. It looks yeah. like a, a little piggy bank to me. <laughs> I know. Check this out, I got the same one. Same thing. Mine's in better shape. But... Oh really? That's pretty cool. That was uh, not as good as the other place, but it was still interesting. We get new stuff all the time, so. Okay, onwards. So I've got a few hours to kill, so I figured I'd come outside, make a little fire, play with the dog. Hey, Doug, what's going on? The flag is flagging. Yeah, man. As soon as I said the flag is flagging, the flag is really flagging. The dog got spooked. Hey buddy, what's going on? The boogeyman? So I went to Dollarama and I picked one of these up. Best things ever. You can throw this ball like miles, but my, my little yard can't, but I got a little backboard, watch. Sometimes I lose it over the fence, but it's all good. Anyway, uh, here's my slow stop sign. It's much minter, as if they're asking $89 for like a homemade sign. That's hilarious. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Yeah, I can't believe how nice it is tonight. Like uh, we went through, like we had snowstorms for Christ's sakes, and now it's like, I'd, I'd guess plus three degrees maybe. Anyway, this is uh, for the record. Um, my neighbor on this side keeps putting his garbage bags on my property and something gets into them and makes a mess. Like I've been cleaning them up since I've got here. Like I'm not a big complainer, whiner guy, but enough's enough. Like, like you should have seen this place. It was filthy, like all his garbage, his address is all over the shit. And <laughs> anyway, tonight uh, he put out that garbage bag on my property for some reason. It was stinky, filthy, the animals got into it. So I, I brought it back to his property, then 
I don't know, I was doing some stuff, like a couple hours later, I, the book bag was back. So I brought it back there. Then, anyway, I'm sitting there having my little fire in my backyard, and I heard some voices. It was uh, this guy's old lady. She come home, she was staggering or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, she grabbed the garbage bag from there and brought it to over there. So I, as a good neighbor, brought it back to her. Because that is her property. I'm not being an ass, am I? Anyway, filthy laneways, Edmonton, Alberta. Well, before ending this video, I guess I should show you guys uh, the Blue Mountain pottery that uh, Shelly picked up. She got the, the ibu, and she got the, uh, the, the stork, the swan, or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, she's addicted. So yeah, well this video was a little longer than usual, wasn't it? Anyway, I apologize about that. Uh, if you guys made it to the end, uh, big, big cheers. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Try the spaghetti squash. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later.